I am here today to discuss my favorite work of all time. If you cannot tell by the shirts, it is Harry Potter. I have my Deathly Hallows tattoo, so I am the most powerful wizard, and I have my Elder Wand, so watch out. My first encounter of Harry Potter was my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Curtis, read the book Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone aloud to the class. The emotional effect that this book had on me at first was fascination. As I was listening, I could imagine absolutely everything that I heard. I felt like I was truly inside the story. I could really put myself in Harry's shoes and I felt like I was experiencing all of these things that he was experiencing, everything that he was going through, everything that he was feeling. I also could relate to Harry because he felt very alone and he felt very isolated. Now granted, my parents are alive and well, but my dad has never been in my life and as a child of divorce, my mom as a single parent was constantly working and I never really developed a relationship with her until I was older. So a lot of times I felt very isolated or maybe even I isolated myself. Um, my favorite, this is my favorite because it really showed me who I am. Once I started reading Harry Potter, it opened the door to my passion for creativity as a whole. I began realizing that I love to read. I loved art. I loved music. I loved photography. And I started exploring all of these different things about myself. This work inspired me to follow my dreams and literally to believe in magic, to believe in miracles. Um, J.K. Rowling is an incredible author. She is very, she's really amazing at putting you inside the story. As you're reading or listening, you can imagine everything that the characters are experiencing. You can feel what they're feeling. You can see what they're seeing. And this work inspired me to follow my dreams wholeheartedly and never give up because a lot of people, they eventually instill in us that we have to grow up. And sometimes those wild dreams that we have get put to rest because maybe people don't believe in them. So it truly really inspired me to be myself and to stand up for myself and to wholeheartedly go after what I'm passionate about and to never give up, to never stop believing in magic. So Harry Potter will always be my favorite work of all time. I think it's absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of work. So thank you.